Hey Accelerators, it's Christopher Maselli, and in this series of videos we're looking at Social Bee, which is my favorite way to schedule all my social media material online. It sure saves me a tremendous amount of time, and I think it will you too. So in this video, we're going to look at how you get content into Social Bee so that eventually you can schedule it out. We'll look at scheduling it in another video, but in this video it's all about getting the content in. So to get all the content in, when you log into Social Bee, Everything you need to know is right here in the content menu. It's pretty handy, pretty easy. And so the first thing you're going to do when you start messing with content is you have to create categories. Categories are central to the way Social Bee works. And part of the reason I really like Social Bee and it's become one of my favorite tools is because I like having everything in categories. So the, before you start importing anything, I would come in here and create a series of categories. Let me show you how that works. So these are the categories that I have. You can see I've got author quotes where I've got, uh, if we look over here, look, I've got 131 author quotes ready to go on LinkedIn, 131 ready to go on Twitter, another 131 for Facebook and another one for Gina's, 131 for Gina's LinkedIn. So that's one of my categories where I put all my author quotes. Then I've got another one called Deals. Got another one called Fabulous and Focused Promo. My wife's um, a recent book is called Fabulous and Focused, and so we have about 14 promo items, and we've put those all in this category. And then we've got memes, and I've got many more uh, down there. Now, when you're creating a category, what you want to do is just think what kinds of things do people who would come and find me find interesting okay so for Gina and I because we do things for writers we have things like author quotes and we have funny memes for writers and we might have deals for writers as well as if you scroll down here we have literary quotes and we've got some story starters um, writing prompts, that sort of thing. So we have quite a few different items that writers would like. You might have completely different categories. But to create a category, all you have to do is click Create Category. Okay, so you click that, and then it has you put in a name. So you put in a name like, you know, Author Quotes. And then this description field is completely optional, but you can say, you know, Great Quotes by Authors. Okay? Then your choice is to make this either evergreen or share once. So here's what that means. If it's evergreen, the post is going to be recycled. Okay, so if I have 100 posts in here, when Social Bee schedules those out, it will put one post out after another. But when it runs through all 100, it'll start back over at one number one again. Here's what's great about that. No matter how many posts you schedule or you create, you can just keep them going year after year after year, which is wonderful. And you may say, well, why would I want to post something that I already posted? Well, a lot of posts people just aren't going to see. You know, they say that like on a Facebook page, less than 11% of your audience even ever sees that post. Or think about Twitter. How many people on Twitter actually see one of those posts that fly by? Right? It, it, it doesn't happen as often as you might think. So it's fine to let posts go out again and again multiple times and let, let people catch them when they catch them. So most of my categories are evergreen. And so what's great about that, like I said, is that if I've created 100 author posts, I've got enough author posts to run maybe for several years. Or I could choose to share them once. Now, I have a couple categories that I do share just once. For instance, my deals category is a one-time share. And the reason that is, is because the deals don't last more than usually that day, right? A lot of times the deals are very short. And so I just want it to go out once or twice and then stop, okay? So that's when you might choose shared once. Next, it says can also be used as a random category. Okay, when you go into the schedule, which we show in another video, one of the items that you can schedule is a random item. So you could say every day at nine o'clock, I just want a random item to go out. Well, this allows you to choose whether this is allowed to be one of those random items. That's all that is. I usually leave that on too. Then there are some advanced settings. I'll just give you a peek into this. Um, you can choose whether to have it be last in, first out, or first in, last out. You can choose whether or not to use your uh, URL shortener. 
um, which I talk about in some of the other videos. You can also add UTM tags and all that sort of thing. If you don't know what all those are, don't worry about them. That's why they're called advanced. Don't really need those for, for the basic setup. Right now, all you wanna do is create your category and then you hit create. Now, when you hit create, it'll become a category like this. See, I've got my author quotes. There's my deals, see how they're shared once. And, um, and then it's set up and ready to go. Now, if you don't like some of your settings, at any time you can come back and hit edit and you can edit them. I'll, let me show you my author quotes here. I'm gonna edit it and look, I can go in and edit that again. Easy peasy, right? Very nice. I can also delete the whole category. Oh, I like this. I can bulk edit the category. You know what that means? Watch this. I'm gonna hit bulk editor. When I hit that, it's gonna show me all the posts I have in that category. So these are my author quotes. But look at this. I can choose to um, select all of them. And then if I want, I can remove some of the social profiles so maybe certain ones don't appear on one of my channels. I can unapprove them. That means take them so they're no longer um, automatically going out until I say they're approved again. Or I can just remove some social profiles from, or, or add certain profiles to certain ones. So that's pretty cool that you can do things in bulk like that. Um, let me go back. The other thing that you can do is you can view your posts and edit them individually. So if I hit view posts, check this out. I can add a post to this category if I want to from here. But, it's going to take a moment to come in. There it is. I can go through and I can move posts around. I can duplicate posts. I can go in here and if I click edit, watch, it's gonna come up and I can edit that individual post. I can add um, some words to it if I want to. I can change out the hashtags, whatever I want. I can change the time it's posted. Whatever you want, you can go ahead and edit them from that uh, right there, which I think is pretty cool. And then, let me go back again. Um, uh, that's essentially your category. So now you've set up your categories, okay? So you've got everything set up, you're ready to post, but you don't have anything in the categories yet. Well, one of the ways you can add something to a category is what I just showed you, where you go inside and you hit that little plus icon, which is just like this plus icon up here, or if you click that, you can choose a category and add something to it, right? Author quotes, and I could go ahead and write something in here. I could add a photo from my computer, you know, if I click that, it'll go to my computer and I can choose to add a photo. But I don't want to do that. I want to add a bunch of photos or a bunch of things at once. So I'm going to show you how to do that next. We're here in the content category. And I, we, we were looking at the categories. We're in the content menu item and we're looking at categories. The next thing you can add is you could add an RSS feed to any category you want. So if I wanted to, if I know that I'm always posting deals on my blog, I could click RSS and when I click add RSS, I could put my blog URL in here and it'll automatically, every time I add a new blog post, it'll put it in whatever category I want. Did you get that? Anytime I create a new blog post on my blog, no matter where it is, WordPress or some other site, it'll automatically be added to Social Bee so that it can go out to all of my social channels automatically. Pretty cool. And, that, and you can do that with multiple RSS feeds. So if you have a couple blogs that you belong to or you um, have other things that you want to post, maybe sometimes people like posting something from other people's blogs. So for instance, if I wanted to post... Um, every time uh, Publishers Weekly had some new news item come out, I could make that show up on my feeds if I wanted to. And you can do that through here by adding the RSS. And it's not that you're claiming that. It's, it's, no, it's no different than sharing it, right, if you shared it online. So that's fine. Then you've also got Pocket. If you've hooked up your Pocket account, you can go ahead and click Add, and it will um, take anything that you've saved to your Pocket account, and it'll post it online. So Pocket is a, it's a service that you can have on your phone, and anytime you find a new story you like, you can save it to Pocket. Well, those things that you save can show up in, your, uh, in any category you want. Next, you've got import links. So this is kind of interesting. Let's say you have a bunch of links 
that you know you want to share online. Like let's say you've got a list of 25 blog posts that you know you want to put in one of these categories. So my category, let's say it's, um, I want to do, um, let's say status updates, and I've got 25 blog posts. I can paste those blog posts in here all together, you know, one after the other, and of course, this would be the full URL of the blog post. And after I put all those in, all I do, I can do some of those other small settings there. And then I can say import. When I do that, it will import every one of those lines of blog posts as a separate post for social media. All right? So you'd have 25 posts then for social media because you put in 25 blog posts URLs. That's great if you've got a blog that's been established and you want to just go ahead and pull in a bunch of your old blogs. You can just copy each URL, paste it in here, and every one of them becomes a post for all your social media. Pretty cool. I'm going to go to the next one, which is import CSV. Okay, if you, um, you can go ahead and create a CSV file. That's a uh, file like in Excel. It's a spreadsheet. And in that file, they have the, um, if you go and search in their help section, they've got the format for this. And it's basically something like put the, um, uh, any words you want in your blog post here, put any link you want here, and you can put it in three or four different items. And when you do, you can then upload that spreadsheet and it'll put them, and it'll create a whole bunch of posts out of those, which is kind of cool. I don't actually use it that often because I prefer this one import media so this is really cool so what I've done like let's say I want to import P media for these four categories and I'm gonna make it author quotes I can and then I want to say you know hashtag quote hashtag am writing and then I can say add photos or videos and I can go on my computer to wherever all of my photos are and I can hit open and when I do it's going to add every one of them into here and it's going to create each one as a separate post for social media so if I created and this is what I did let me go back to my categories when I created 131 author quotes that's what I did I went to import media put in author quotes Put in, you know, quote, am writing, whatever I want, or like this is a great hashtag quote, right? And then I hit add, and I added all 131 in, and when I did, each one became a separate post for social media. That is so cool. Do you know how much time that saves? I don't have to do those individually. Then you've got Zapier, which is a, um, if you don't know what that service is, don't worry about it. But it's a way that you can connect up other social media services and some other just services all together to social media. It makes social be really expand. So it's great for the future if you need it. Right now, I wouldn't worry about it. And then browser extensions, this is how you get that little icon in your browser so that when you're on a page that you want to share, you hit that little icon and it will automatically bring up the uh, share dialog so that you can add whatever page you're on into into a certain category and make it a blog post too. So that's it for the content menu. That is how you, t you can take literally hundreds of blog posts, upload them in minutes, and get them ready to go online. But they have to be in categories. Categories are like buckets. And so as long as you've put, uh, created all your buckets, then you can upload all of your images or all of your quotes or whatever you've got, all of your links, and put each one of those in a bucket. And then once you do, you can start scheduling them out, which is the subject of another video.